Skyrim is a game of measurable size, and with mods, it can be infinite. You could have many quests, items, weapons, armor, uh, and magic even. It is so massive that even 11 years later, well, it's getting near 12 now, uh, 11 years later, it still ha is brimming with content. Being the first game to introduce dragons into the Elder Scrolls, well, besides, well, Redguard, it is a massive monument, and I would like to discuss about my favorite quest. The quest is not part of the base game, and it's not part of the any of the uh, standard DLC, though <laughs> you could call it DLC. It is from the Creation Club, which is funny because none of the Creation Club have any, like, officially own a, a, a voice acting. Yet, this is my favorite quest. This is the ca cause quest line. There are two quests associated with this. The first, uh, first, how this quest starts is you get a letter by a, from a well, a stranger's plea. That's what the letter is called. You get it from a courier, as you do most of the Creation Club, Club content, and you have to read a few journals here and there. You discover that the Mythic Dawn is still alive, and still kicking. And it's actually grown a lot since the destruction of the Oblivion Gates. The, or, I should say, the Oblivion Crisis has been... Since it's the Oblivion Crisis has been put down. Once you read Score of the Earth's Journal, um, I believe that's how you pronounce it, you must go and find the secret... Uh, the excavation site for the cult. You, I just so happened to have Vigilant of Stendar fighting beside me, which was kind of cool, not going to lie. And so I I really thought that, that that should have actually been part of the Creation Club quest. See, this is why random encounters are useful. Anyway, after you reach the excavation site you will realize that this is not a major excavation. So pretty much what you are forced to do is fight against these cultists here and find a, a way to find out where the actual excavation site is. Well, you find out they've been trying to excavate into Rael because they need a great Wilcon stone from Oblivion. Or it's not from Oblivion, but it's fr it's from the Aliens. But I'm because Oblivion was a previous game, that's why I said it. Uh, the Great Well Cut Stone. And I recently discovered that you can actually use the Great Well Cut Stone in order to get the Lich uh, spell tome. So that is pretty really cool. But once you get to Rael and you get the uh, you get to the Well Well Cut Stone. You discover that the the excavation didn't really go well for the Mythic Dawn. So you have to go grab the Wellcott Stone yourself. And you have to battle for these alien whites, which are the undead. That have come back to defend their sacred site. Well, you find an alien lich. And he is not happy. With you taking the Great Will Cut Stone. So you must eliminate the uh, Lich once again. It is pretty. It is a pretty difficult fight if you're on any higher difficulties. Um, but it is pretty enjoyable at the same time. I really like that boss battle. The. Way you get to the Will Cut Stone is that you need uh, four. Um, different types of uh, stones which represent light, earth, air, and and water. 
Yeah, it's water. And you use that to activate a pedestal that can get you into a secret chamber, and that secret chamber can get you to the Wellcott and the Alien Witch Lich. Anyway, after that, you must get out of the cave and you uh, or the dungeon, and you find the that the a, a vigilant of Stendar have joined you in your battle. And they actually k- managed to k- get killed. One of them managed to get killed. And you read his journal and you discover the location of um, the the cave the, that, the, that the Mythic Dawn have set up the Oblivion Gate in. And um, by the way, there is a poem that t- can describe to you the location so if you guys don't use quest markers, uh, you can actually use that poem to find the location of, of by yourself. Once you get there, you discover that it, that there is indeed a mythic dawn cult there. I know, shocker, but I needed something to say. Anyway, after you go through, you can actually disguise yourself as the mythic dawn. For uh, to in order to infiltrate and defeat them, I wish there was a way that you can join the Mythic Dawn. Actually, that that in my opinion would have been really really cool, but you can't have Dagon destroy the world. You know that's just not how it is. Anyway, once you either infiltrate or battle your way to the central chamber. You discover that Vonos, the guy that has been mentioned in the journal, he has been just stand. He's just standing at the portal, looking at it while everybody else is mining around, which is a little suspicious, you know. Well, after you activate combat with him or stealth takedown or whatever uh, stealth archers do, um, he. He dies, and the portal is activated, meaning that he was the last piece in the puzzle. So you read his journal and discover that there was supposed to be a great betrayal between uh, you, which is Dragonborn, and the, uh, like, I guess you could say... Vessel of Akatosh? And you're supposed to slay Alduin, brothers fighting brothers, the greatest betrayal. Now, once this happens, you discover that there's an army waiting for to uh, attack Tamriel. And while you get in there, you get some cool rewards after you kill a Daedric horse a, and some Dramora bosses. These bosses can be pretty cool and pretty fun and pretty intimidating at the same time. The, and the swords are absolutely worth it. Or not just swords, but the weapons are absolutely worth it. Every single weapon in this creation club is absolutely worth it. After that, you must escape Oblivion, head back home into Tamriel, and bada bing bada boom that you have completed the quest line now what are what what do i think about this quest besides that it's great well i went back and played oblivion after this because i never played oblivion before uh and I, to say the least i enjoyed it a lot uh I I thought I won because I tried playing Morrowind. Uh, I could not get into Morrowind at all. Uh, I just n- no. But Oblivion, very enjoyable. I have to admit, I did like it a lot. I still prefer Skyrim. But now that the Creation Club uh, content is out, I will be trying to use uh, once I get a, P- a gaming PC. I will use the Creation Kit in order to to make more Oblivion Gates and stuff like that, because I really like the thought of Oblivion and going to Oblivion. So that could be also affecting my decision on why I like this quest so much. But since the Creation Club content is all official uh, and, you know, canon, does that mean that 
this uh, this event will not necessarily retcon the events of the Oblivion of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, but that means that there could be potentially more Oblivion crises again, like the Oblivion Crisis 2.0 or something like that, or. You know, how it was with the Great War. There was the first Great War, and then they didn't know what to call the second Great War, so they were like, oh, World War One or World War Two. So, it's like, this this allows for the in- introduction of more Oblivion crises. Just for the fact of we have one portal and one man with the willpower in order to do it. And that's that's just, like, crazy i think that they could really use this as a plot point in the elder scrolls 6 um hammerfell or whatever it's going to be called we know it's going to either be including two provinces or it'll be in daggerfall or hammerfell which i am all for i really want to see what that place looks like because i have never played daggerfall and so, you know, I don't know what it, how it functions there, what it looks like, all, all the cool things there. I just, I just really hope that this isn't part of a main quest per se. I hope it's like a side quest, I guess, or maybe have an entire quest line that's disconnected from the main quest. Uh, like, you know, how you can have all the mages guilds and stuff like that. Like, you can join the Mythic Dawn or you join the Vigilant of Stendar to hunt down the the remaining Mythic Dawn. But, oh no, they've already activated a few portals or they activated a portal that's, you know, huge. I really would enjoy that. And I'm glad that they that this creation club exists because it made me go back and play Oblivion. And... Just the recreation of all this cool stuff is just amazing. Like, like I went back and played Oblivion. Obviously, the graphics aren't as good as Skyrim, but man, I'm I can't wait to use the creation clip, kit to use it to make this into a more. Uh, and make more out of this and make it just exist, right? Because I really like Oblivion and I really want to see more of it. I I really hope they include different types of Daedric armor. Like, we, we obviously have the standard Daedric armor, but what if we have a different realms that include different Daedric types of armor? That would be cool. I don't think they're actually going to do that, but that would be cool. Um, and getting to my last point, I really, I really hope they just don't let this this quest go, because if they, it's never mentioned again, I will be very upset because this this is one of my favorite quests. And I, from what I've been watching, this is one of the people's favorite Creation Club quests. So I really want to see it uh, continue down the line with these Oblivion quest, the quest lines and such. But other than that, uh, I've had a blast playing through this quest line and talking about it. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next video.